Good evening and welcome back to another episode of Art Tutorials. This is TLD Flyer Tyler 658 Ultimate here. And tonight I'm going to show you how to trace over celebrity and voice actor portraits. For our demonstration, we will be using a photo of voice actress Laura Bailey, who you may know from certain voice roles with her and her husband and Yori Lowenthal's wife, um, Tara Platt, who we're also going to draw in the next video for episode three. So hopefully this shouldn't take too long, but um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to draw over, you know, celebrity slash voice actor portraits. If without further ado, we shall uh, begin. Okay. I'm just going to sort out which size we're going to need the, um, you know, sizing tool. I know these certain people are very, very busy, but rather than invade their privacy, I just want to get it over with. Sorry to uh, embarrass myself, but uh, no matter how busy they are, I watch this. But we did go too far this time. Well, I did. But anyway, enjoy the tutorial. I won't chat up too much. Sorry if I'm not giving uh, a demonstration. Um, I'm kind of speechless at the minute because of, um, you know, this is my first time doing um, tra tra tracing over a real person. You'll have to forgive me. And to have it pretty perfect because it's, um, you know, since we're drawing over a real person, you don't want to mess this up. But um, yeah, just try and go around it as slow as you can so that you don't miss any bits out or much. But uh, that's uh, all I'm going to say really.
just for future reference, if you have any celebrity or VA um, you want to draw in future, I'd slightly think, have a good long think, long and hard, before you make this decision. Um, only because um, this is my first time doing this, so at least I've shown you how to do it the first time. But uh, I do advise you not to ruin it the first time. For mistakes, you might want to rough stuff out just to be on the clear and safe side, clear and narrow, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, just be careful with what you're going to be drawing. You don't want to mess things up, even if um, you're a first timer. As as I, as I don't want to talk through like I did the first video because it costed me a bit of time. Um, I won't say anything more, but I would advise that you you know. Keep it on the straight and narrow, if you know what I mean. But just so you know, I am fully aware of um, and YouTube industry, so um, you'll have to forgive me, okay? But yeah, I hope um, I hope I've shown you what to do. All you've got to do is just use the here are the tools before I uh, before I uh, stop you from doing it. So, free and path tool, the line tool, the eye tool for the cir circle tool for the eyes, square tool for the background, line tool for when you want to line things straight. The brush tool, if you want to draw, you know, if you're a, you know, a self-taught drawer, but only you, but if, but if you find things difficult, just use the freehand path tool. But if you're a skilled drawer and want to use the freehand brush tool, then, um, then by all means, go ahead. But if you want things to go, you know, um, you'll just have to make sure that you're evening out the lines and stuff. Um, only use the free only use the free hand path tool for drawing the lines. Only use the brush tool if you're going to add colours to, you know, stuff that you couldn't get rid of the white of, or if you need to do finishing touches. Okay, so back to where it was for here. So just continue using the free hand path tool. You might want to be careful with drawing inanimate objects if you want to, you know, refrain from uh, drawing things realistically. But, uh, yeah, just try and focus. Yeah, there we go. But if you've made a mistake, you know, always, try, always, always, if you, if, you, if you made a mistake the first few times, always go around just to make it proper. So you don't um, act, you know, needs to be uh, kind of appropriate to, you know, make sure it's sensible. But yeah, but since these are people, do not act as if you're, you know, because we're doing, you know, uh, uh, um, you know celebrity portraits. I've learned that when drawing celebrity slash VA portraits, you have to be very careful with not adding similar elements in. It's uh, only because you just don't want to, you know, try and keep, let's just say, keep things simple and appropriate. I uh, won't go on about the cinema. Here you go.
have a look so far just to make sure that you're not missing anything. You might want to be careful if the uh, computer swell. So for instance, I wouldn't, if you, if you know that's a personal belonging, I wouldn't draw anything that belongs to somebody. That would be, you know, just learn to draw things without it. That's what I usually do, just to be on the safe side anyway. Yeah, with these things, with portraits like these, you're going to have to be careful not to draw personal belongings. It would be an invasion. So I'm, on, I'm only saying this because I want to do fan art, which included their personal belongings. And trust me, I did not, you know, I regretted that ever since. So just be, yeah, so from an artist, from, from, a, from, from me, from an artist to another artist, just be careful with, with what you with what you what you're tracing over, just to keep things appropriate. Yeah, for objects like these, for example, um, I would, for example, I'd just draw a park bench to replace what's the real photo, only because you don't want to come across as getting things wrong the first time. You always got to think ahead. Yeah, here's something I should have I should have told fans of my YouTube channel to say if you know, um, if you're not familiar with that particular celebrity or voice actor, I'd watch a few of their roles or pro projects that they've been recording, just so you know exactly who they are, and don't just draw them for the sake of them, only because, uh, in case only because just to um, you know. Uh, make sure that you know which celebrity you draw before you actually draw it and actually watch something. So when it comes to the first thing in your mind, I would watch it. I would watch that particular movie or film first before deciding to do portraits of someone. That's what I've learned anyway. OK, for the next step, we will uh, go to the top now. And um, just be careful. Like I said to my last video, you might want to shorten the size for the eyebrows just to be in video. We've got to show these people respect, so I just don't want to um, get on the wrong side, you know what I mean? Anyway, focus. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, if you know which celebrity's eye colour, you're going to have to learn it 
before you just pick any eye colour. You don't want to make a mistake for that. Just to be on the safe side anyway. And you might want to change the um, the uh, pen size just to be uh, on the safe side. But uh, yeah, just be careful with what you actually, uh, you know. But I'm going to say no more now. So yeah, we'll review this at the end of the uh, session. Yeah, but you're going to have to be careful in future if you're going to draw, you know, fan art is okay when it comes to cartoons and stuff, but when you're drawing real people, you have to be very careful with that particular element. Just so you know, I'm actually going to do um, show you how to draw Tara Platt's um, portrait in a different video. This will be part two of it. So hopefully, um, yeah. Yeah, but with drawings like these, you have to be so careful with keeping things, you know, in the right position. Yeah, what you don't want is going above your uh, pen size. You have to keep it all in the right, you know, spaces so that you don't clash with anything. You know what I mean? So that's one thing, that's one thing uh, all of us should remember to do. But for any like accessories, you were uh, we can always change the rules for that, but just be careful. Um, you know, just keep things as I've said before appropriate so that we don't go overboard. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. I'll just uh show you the next instruction in the next couple of minutes. So we're gonna have to be starting. You have to start being aware of what we're gonna be drawing. But uh, I've already learnt my lesson. It's just uh, um, I just thought I'd let you know for future reference. Okay. So if you like make a mistake, just be careful. and try and keep it in the line so that you don't, you know, come across as going over, but not going over, if you know what I mean. So that's what we have to be aware of.
just have to be careful in future. Mm. No matter how, uh, you know, just have to be uh, very careful with this. For eye pupils, you're going to have to keep them, you know, because, um, you know, you have to keep them the same eye colour, the same eye, um, the same the same shape and the same position. So just don't try and make an eye any bigger or smaller. OK, I'm not going to say any more, but uh, you get what I mean, right? OK, moving down. So basically, you just need to be careful when drawing um, celebrity voice actor portraits. Yes, so if you're having trouble going over celebrity or voice actors' lips, female or male, um, you might want to go through this again and again until you get it, get it right. But don't force yourself either because you want to keep it, you know. You know, you know, you know, if, you know if you like make a mistake the first four times like I've done, just done now, I just remember to draw slow and not try, not try not to mess it a little. You don't want it, you know, looking like, you know, you've got to keep it, got to keep it, uh, you know. But it's the weekend, what can you do, eh? But uh, just be careful with where you're going to be drawing, you know. But if you want, just change this. Just change the size of the lips. Well, not size of the lips. Size of the uh, pen tool, if you know what I mean. But uh, this is slightly less advanced than uh, Illustrator. So yeah, use Critter Illustrator, as I've said before, or any. Um, I wouldn't use paint, but um, like affinity, if you've got affinity, if you don't have anything else, but yeah, just be careful what you use. You want to keep things a little out of perspective if you want to, you know, you don't want, you don't want, you don't want to get up, you don't want to make, you don't want to, you know, it does take time to do these things, if you know what I mean. It took me an hour to do my first celebrity portrait, if you know what I mean, so just uh, be careful. Okay, just give me a few seconds. I will uh, finish demonstrating in, in a moment. But yeah, you want to be careful.
think this is the best work. I think this is the best we can do. But uh, for future reference, if you're going to try and do this, I would abs I would absolutely be careful with what you pick because you never know what would happen with these sorts of things. Okay, save you guys waste save save wasting time. I would I would strongly advise that you you know think long and hard with what you, with who you're going with sort of portrait you're going to do. You you, you want to be careful, but uh, yeah, just be careful. But yeah, just try not to. Trust me, I don't do all of my uh, portraits uh, straight and narrow, uh, on the straight and narrow, but yeah, just keep it, you know. Have a check of what we've done so far. Yeah, I'd be very careful with what, you know. Okay, moving on to layer two. We will, draw, we will draw the inanimate objects, but we will have to change just to be on the safe side and, and whatnot. If you're having trouble getting the first layer back down to its position, I'd strongly advise that you remain careful with all these things. Yeah, so instead of drawing the car, we'll just draw an inanimate object called a park bench or a table. Just to be on the safe side and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, just be careful, isn't it? Okay, so if we have the table, we, we, I, I strongly advise that we colour this in first, just to be, uh, you know, on the safe side and that. Safe and that, but uh, you might want to um, just be careful with which image you choose next time, just to be on the safe side. And I've learned my lesson, but uh, just to be on the safe side, eh? There we go. Right. I want to move myself out of the way so we can pick a color palette, which you may or may not want to use, but I'm going to show you anyway. So for a table, it has to be brown. So this is where you this um I, I, for those that are, for those that are new to watching, this is a color palette where you where you pick your choice of color. So I'm going to um, yeah. So if you want something that's an an animate object, so just be careful what you pick. I just choose, I just choose like a um, color palette. Um, for when we do that other celebrity, um, the other voice actor, um, you won't need anything like this. You'll just need a background, but just to be on the safe side. Huh? Okay. We just add the brown or the lighter brown, just to be on the safe side and just uh, color it in. Color in the missing pieces. But you might want to tone it down if you if you don't if you don't want to miss the lines and stuff. But for the first part, I don't see any. I don't, I don't, for the first bit, I don't see any problem. There we go. But we will have to just be careful. But if you want to add back to number two, just to make sure you're not missing any parts. There. Okay, now we narrow it back down. And now you know what the good part is, don't you? Okay, I'm not going to go that far, but you know what I mean, right? With, you know, celebrity and voice actor portraits, voice actor portraits, well, but with celebrity and voice actor portraits, you've got to be so careful with what you're doing. Yeah, that's not going to work. You need it on number one if you're going to fill in the face. But for like arms and that, just keep it on number two.
But if you don't want to miss like the, uh, just be careful. Okay, sorry about that last mishap. Um, but you get what I mean, right? There we go. That's better. Now we do everything else. I guess I'm all uh, fingers tonight. <laughs> okay, sorry. Figure of speech. Okay, eyebrows. Okay, sorry. Now for the eyes and teeth. You might want to be careful with these because you don't want to miss the lines of these again. But as I've said to you before about um, missing lines, just be careful you don't miss any missing parts that don't fit or get rid of the white and stuff. Okay, um, eyes we'll do next. So like on the right eye, you might want to recolor them again so I can demonstrate. Yeah, because if you've missed like parts of the eye, you've got to be really careful with that. So um, you might want to be careful with that, yeah. But if you like go over the eye shadow, you need to be careful with that too, because you don't want to miss, you don't want to go over the black, do you? So no. I'll be back with the other tutorial in the next second part. Um, but yeah. You'll have to excuse me for a moment. Okay, so as you've gone over, as I've gone over the white, you might want to zoom in just to, you know, try not to go over the black tool. You might want to use the freehand path tool, but just to concentrate on what you're really doing so that you don't go over the black like I've just done. Okay, eyes next. The idea is to be very careful what you're 
which colours you're adding to like the match the um, you know. But in order to make sure that they don't, you know, stay the same, I would strongly advise that you add different colours to make sure that they're um, you know, aren't copyrighted. So just make sure if in future you do decide to, I would strongly advise that you change the colour of the clothing so that it done, you know. Yeah, so this is this is one thing you should remember in future. Just uh, another message I'm passing on from another artist to from an artist to another artist. Okay, that's good. Let's get rid of the, yeah. Like I said, you don't want to keep the photo. You want to get rid of it so that you're not, you know. But yeah, for the background, you might want to choose like a lighter colour just to make sure that it um, colour coordinates. So I'm going to go with the blue colour for the background. There we go. And there you have it for Miss Bailey. Um, when I do Miss Platt, it'll be an, it'll be it'll be in a separate video, but it will be part two um but yeah i'll show you how to draw miss Platt in just a few minutes <laughs> 